Tucked away on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, just one block from Lincoln Center is Nick and Tony's Cafe. We're visiting with executive chef Joseph Raumuto, and today he will be showing us how fresh, locally produced organic valley products are the foundation to the simple, rustic cuisine he likes to prepare. Hi, my name is Joseph Raumuto. Welcome to my kitchen here at Nick and Tony's Cafe. Today we're going to be making a milk braised pork shank featuring New York Fresh Organic Valley Milk. It's a very simple dish. There's only a few ingredients and it's all about the local product. So we're going to get started on this. We have these beautiful pork shanks, which we are going to season well. When you're braising any kinds of meat, it's really important you over season because it's also going to season your braising liquid. And I want to season on all sides. Once your pork is seasoned, we got a nice hot pan in the back. Add a nice amount of olive oil just to evenly coat the bottom of the pan. And as soon as it starts to smoke, we're gonna add our pork to it and we're gonna sear it off. You know you got a hot pan when you can hear that sizzle. That's really, really important. Okay. While we're searing the pork and we're gonna get ready to braise, we are also gonna start our polenta. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of a pot, and we're gonna sweat down some onions. Now to sweat means basically to cook something down and don't add any extra color to it. So if it starts to add any color to it, what you wanna do is you wanna lower it down. Our pork shanks are searing up really nice gonna flip them as they start to brown. And our onions over here are starting to cook. You just wanna cook the onions just until they're translucent. Now that our onions are nice and sweated, we're gonna add our New York Fresh Organic Valley milk. We're gonna add about a cup and a half. It's the key ingredient to making a nice creamy polenta. Gonna add a cup and a half of pork stock. The reason I'm using pork is because it highlights our main dish. We're going to let that come to a boil. And our pork shanks are ready to come out of the pan. Okay, we're just going to set them on the side. We're going to lightly coat the bottom of the pan with just a little bit more olive oil. To this, we're going to add our onions and our fennel and our garlic cloves. And I'm going to lower down my flame. And again, I'm going to let this sweat just the way we did the onions. And that'll cook for probably around 10 minutes. So while our onions, fennel, and garlic are sweating down, our New York Fresh Organic Valley milk and pork stock have now come to a boil. What we're going to do is we're going to slowly add in our Anson Mills polenta. Now the idea here is to really, really whisk fast, slowly add your polenta. This way it doesn't clump up. And this is going to cook for about 30 or 40 minutes. Our onions and fennel garlic are nicely sweated down. What we're going to do is we're going to add that to our pork shanks. I'm going to move it back onto the stove, get it back on the fire. We're going to add our rosemary, our fresh bay leaf, our fresh lemon zest. Very, very generous. That's what's going to help to curdle our milk. A little fresh lemon juice. And then again, we're going to add our New York Fresh Organic Valley milk about a half a gallon. It's a great way to use a beautiful product. I'm gonna add the whole thing right in there. We're gonna add half a gallon of our pork stock. We're gonna let that come to a boil and we're gonna pop it right in our 350 degree oven for about two hours and 45 minutes until the meat is just falling off the bones. And what's gonna happen is the lemon is gonna curdle all that milk and it's gonna make a beautiful sauce. You have the vegetables, the herbs, the garlic to kind of finish it all off. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, stick it right into our oven, 
let it cook. Here at Nick and Tony's and the rest of our restaurants, you know, it's really important for us to use a lot of organic, locally sourced products. A lot of our customers are more educated and want to know where their food products are coming from. So we use Organic Valley products, the dairy, the cheese, the milks, uh, all of that stuff because we know where the product is coming from. We know the farmers that are producing it for us. Organic Valley is a nationwide co-op that's farmer owned. It was started in 1988. Uh, presently we have about 1,700 farms and in New York State we have 125 farms. The reason our particular family farm became organic is we felt that we wanted to produce a better product for the consumer. We're not allowed to use any antibiotics. We do not use any pesticides, herbicides, no growth hormones. So it's very, very natural and very good for the consumer. Our polenta has been cooking for about 30 minutes. It's nice and creamy. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of mascarpone cheese, a nice generous pinch of Parmesan cheese. And then just like everything else, I'm gonna season it up with salt and pepper. I'm gonna add about a quarter of stick of butter. And whisk that all together. And our polenta is ready to serve. Our pork shanks have been cooking for about two hours and 45 minutes. They're just about falling off the bone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out, and plate it all up for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a nice little spoon of our polenta and ladle it right into the middle of the plate. It's really creamy. What we're gonna do is put one of our milk braised pork shanks right on top and then finish it off with a little bit of this braising liquid. And as you can see, the New York Fresh Organic Valley Milk curdles up really, really nice. You get a little bit of the onion, the fennel, the roasted garlic right over the top. And there you have it. Milk braised pork shank with New York Fresh Organic Valley Milk with creamy Anson Mills polenta. Hi, my name is Richard Scofield. I'm a manager here at Nick and Tony's Cafe. We just saw Chef Real Muto prepare a uh, Organic Valley milk braised pork shank. And I'm gonna make a strawberry cocktail using the Organic Valley flavored creamer, the French vanilla in particular. First off, I've got some organic strawberries from the green market here in New York. Just cut the tops off, maybe three of them in your metal shaker. Take your muddler and just uh, crush them up a little bit. Uh, I've also got some New York vodka. Gardner, New York. It's two ounces right in the shaker with the strawberries. Next up, we take our Organic Valley French Vanilla Creamer. It's one ounce with the two ounces of vodka and three strawberries. I'm gonna fill that with ice. Give it a good shake. We've got that ready. I've got a chilling cocktail glass here that's called a Nick and Nora glass. Dump that ice out. It's a little bit of cassis from the Finger Lakes region. Right in the bottom of the glass. Got my bar strainer. Strain that in. It's a real nice color. Got a strawberry here for garnish. There you've got it. We call it the uh, Strawberry Valley with Organic Valley French Vanilla Creamer. It's uh, part dessert, part cocktail, and all local. Organic Valley Co-op has the philosophy that if the milk is produced in the state, they try very hard to sell it in the state. And we do have the product New York Fresh Organic Valley Milk so that uh, the people in New York will be drinking milk from New York State Farms. Earth and animal friendly better taste and higher nutritional value. Local farming without antibiotics, synthetic hormones, or pesticides. Organic Valley, healthy farms, healthy foods. For more information, visit www.organicvalley.coop. This is Kathy Bernheimer reporting for A Taste of New York.